I'm seeing a lot of people complain about the results of the midterms, that the Republicans took the House, that Trump is running for president again, that the DOJ still isn't doing anything. And it upsets me because it's so freaking defeatist. Democracy is hard work. One of the reasons it got as bad as it did in America is because it's such hard work, people didn't want to do it. They didn't vote. They didn't pay attention. And we let a lot of self-serving bad people take over. We were asleep at the wheel while the Federalist Society stacked our courts. We were asleep at the wheel while our education system was dismantled. We were asleep at the wheel when the Fairness Doctrine was taken away and right-wing radio and propaganda television were allowed to rise unchallenged. We were asleep at the wheel while billionaires bought our politicians and supported them rigging the election apparatus. And when you fall asleep at the wheel, you get into an accident. And this country had a major accident. We wrapped the country around a tree with Donald Trump. It was ugly and bloody and devastating. Donald Trump tried to steal our democracy from us. With the help of his enablers and the Republican Party and the court system, he tried to take the wheel from the voters. And when that didn't work, he sent a mob of angry insurrectionists to tear the car apart. He would have done anything to stay in power, including kill democracy. He and the people who came before him had already destroyed so much that the country wasn't even in very great shape on impact. Democracy didn't die in the crash but it is deeply injured and it's gonna be a long, hard road to recovery. The midterm elections were like the first day of rehab where we took a step, one step after being told we should be dead. The midterms were sheer will and hope and yes, a step towards healing, towards being the country we wanna be. And there are people out here saying it's not good enough, that we're a big disappointment because things aren't totally fixed. Um, No man, we were in a traumatic accident. We're a total mess. It's gonna take a long time until we even resemble what we want to. But we're doing our best. And we need people who are willing to do their best with us. People who will celebrate our wins. Wins like the election deniers who are running to count the ballots in 2024, losing. That's a win. That's lifting up our arm and touching our nose. A win is all the election denying governors losing. That's picking up a ball. Even if it's just by a couple of inches, cheer for us. The worst of the worst new senators, the anti-Semites, the misogynists, the racists, they all lost. That is the equivalent of being able to hold ourselves up for a couple of seconds with no one helping. Have you ever seen someone in recovery? It's hard to watch. The gains are slow and painful. And yeah, we're not where we want to be, but considering the alternative, we're doing pretty well. Okay, we lost the House, but we kept the Senate. You can't get anything done without the Senate. We all saw that when the roles were reversed. We have a long road ahead of us, and 2024 is gonna be an uphill battle. So we need warriors, not complainers. We need people pushing democracy forward every day, celebrating each win as we move towards healing. We need people saying, you can do it, America, one foot in front of the other, you got this. I know it's painful, I know it hurts, I know you wish it was different, but you have to keep fighting. We don't need people telling us it's not good enough, that we're not healing fast enough. We will heal. We will grow. We will get better. Not from one election, but from one election at a time. So be brave, expect setbacks, and cheer your country on. With enough people on our side, we'll walk again. Hell, we'll run. And if you can't get behind that, then sit down till you find your courage. The rest of us don't want to hear it. We're too busy doing the work.